Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on how to download Windows 8.1 directly from Microsoft, free and easy. Okay, to begin with, let's open up an internet browser either from the start screen or your desktop. I'm going to open up my favorite internet browser which happens to be Firefox from my desktop. And once I have it open, I'm going to go out to my favorite search engine which happens to be Google and I'm going to type the words download Windows 8.1 and hit the enter key and that will open up the potential links that you can click on and the one that we're interested in is the first one Windows 8 ISO Microsoft and no it doesn't say 8.1 but it does say 8.1 in the description so go ahead and click on that and that opens up the Microsoft software download page and there's the URL um, address right there. So once the download Windows 8.1 page is open on your uh, computer screen, go ahead and scroll down and click on this button, download tool now. And that will go ahead and open or actually uh, give you this prompt actually um, and says um, do you want to save the media creation tool to your computer and I'm going to say yes save the file and in Firefox I can go up here and click on this download arrow and uh, see my download progress and it doesn't take long to download this at all a few seconds at most and I can click on the folder um, icon here and actually see where it was saved to on my computer and I can double click right here um, within the folder and that will initiate the um, media creation tool and the first prompt I get is a security warning do I want to run this and I'm gonna say yes I do want to run it because it's perfectly safe and it's directly from Microsoft and then Windows 10 will give me a user account control prompt that uh, says do I want to allow this uh, program to make changes to my computer and the answer is yes because I want to go ahead and start the install of Windows not the install but the download of Windows 8.1 onto my computer here and I get this prompt which um, says um, to answer three questions and the first one is the language and I'm going to click on the download arrow here and I'm going to go down and click on English which is the uh, United States and that works for me and the next question is which edition and I'm going to click on Windows 8.1 Pro now your question is well how do I know which version do I have it's really simple to figure out go down here on the start menu and right click within Windows 8.1 move up and click on system and that opens up the system information window for Windows 8.1 now it'll tell me that right here that I'm running Windows 8.1 Pro yours may be the same or different version and also the system type which is a 64-bit version so once I've determined or you've determined which um, version of Windows 8.1 you have you can select the correct addition and also the correct architecture which is 64 bit in my case and once you've done that go ahead down here and click on next now I get a choice of where to save the installation file the first one is if I want to make a USB flash drive that's bootable I can select the first one and that's by default is selected or I can select the second one which is the one I'm going to do which is going to download the ISO file to my computer where I can uh, create or burn a disk image to a DVD later on so uh, once I have that checked I'm going to go down here and click on next and the very next prompt is obviously where do I want to go ahead and um, save this um, ISO file on my uh, computer and I'm going to save it in the download directory which is the default directory and um, you can choose a different folder um, directory if you want but I'm going to leave it as the default and give it a, a different name besides Windows okay um, it goes ahead and starts um, downloading 
and this does take some time uh, depending on the speed and performance of your uh, laptop computer or your desktop computer also the speed of your internet provider as well as how busy uh, Microsoft download servers are at the time that you're doing this so this could take um, up to um, several hours to download so be patient and sit back and I'm not going to sit here and bore you with uh, watching this continuously download for hours um, through the magic of video editing I'm going to speed this up and go to the next step once it's completed downloading it will go ahead and check the download to make sure that there was no corruption or interruption um, during the download process and of course uh, this doesn't take too long of a period of time it's relatively fast and once it's completed getting the files ready to create the ISO it does begin creating the file for you now keep in mind this will take several minutes to complete before you get the last notice here burn the ISO file to a DVD shows you the location of the ISO allows you to um, burn the DVD um, right this moment or you can click finish and burn it later and when you click finish um, you can go to the folder that has the ISO in it in my case it was in the download folder and you can right click on that ISO and when you do um, you get options and one of the options is to um, burn disk image and be sure to have a DVD in your DVD burner um, before you click on um, burn disk image okay um, that's it for this tutorial I hope this helped you out and if you like subscribe to my channel and like my video